Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading a Disney Junior Minnie Mouse story called Minnie's Vacation Home. This is a Binden book. The story was adapted by Bill Skolon, based on the episodes by Kim Duran. One bright, cheery morning, Daisy and Kukuloka are enjoying a healthy breakfast when the phone rings. Minnie quickly picks it up and walks into the next room. Hello? Minnie speaks softly, but her roommates can still hear her. Now, Miss Mayweather, please promise me that you won't tell my secret. They can hear her. Minnie hangs up and heads for the door. Sorry, girls, she says. I have to go run an errand. That makes six errands this week, says Kukuloka. After Minnie is gone, Kukuloka turns to Daisy. Something fishy is going on. Let's follow Minnie to see where she's really going. Daisy agrees, but let's wear disguises so Minnie won't know it's us, she says. Daisy and Kukuloka catch up to Minnie as she is driving through Hot Dog Hills. She'll never suspect that two fish sellers in a fish truck are following her, Daisy says confidently. Hmm, Minnie says as she checks her rearview mirror. Now why are two fish sellers in a fish truck following me? She pulls over and stops the car. Quackers, Daisy shouts, get into fish... Quackers, Daisy shouts, get into fish mode. The girls throw open the back doors and pretend to be selling fish. Daisy calls out in a deep voice, fresh fish. We've got tuna, cod, squid. Sardine and trout special, Kukuloka adds. They're off the hook. The disguises work. Minnie has no idea that the fish sellers are really her friends. She drives off a minute later and Daisy and Kukuloka ditch the disguises and, fall and keep following her. Minnie parks in front of a rundown house with a for sale sign in the yard. The front door opens. Hello, Minnie, says Miss Mayweather. Welcome to your new house. Daisy and Kukuloka can't believe their ears. Minnie is buying a house, exclaims Daisy. That means she's moving out of the apartment. Without us, Kukuloka moans. The girls are heartbroken, but they decide to put on happy faces. Inside the ramshackle house, Minnie tells Miss Mayweather how thrilled she is to be the new owner. It'll be so nice to have a place where we can relax on the weekends, she says. I bet Daisy and Kukuloka are excited, Miss Mayweather says. They will once I tell them, Minnie says with a giggle. I've been keeping it a secret to surprise them. Just then, Daisy and Kukuloka knock on the door. When Minnie opens it, Daisy gets right to the point. We know that what you're doing, she says. Yeah, your secret's out, Kukuloka adds. Minnie is relieved. Oh, good. It's been so hard for me to keep the secret. Come in. Miss Mayweather hands Minnie the keys and waves goodbye. Daisy and Kukuloka look around. The house is run down and badly in need of repair. It's nice, says Daisy. The place needs a lot of fixing up, Minnie admits. But if we work hard, we can make it look nice again. We, says Kukuloka. Don't you want to help, Minnie asks. Daisy and Kukuloka do not want to help Minnie move out, but they do want to be good friends to Minnie, so they agree to fix up the house. Oh, it's going to be so much fun, says Minnie. Now let's go get the tools we need to make this place sparkle. Sparkle. 
At the Mixed Up Motor Lab, Minnie chooses pink paint, curtains, a new rug, and lots of building tools and supplies. When Minnie is out of earshot, Kukuloko whispers to Daisy, I can't help Minnie fix up that house just so she can move away from us. Daisy gets an idea. <clears throat> then we'll unfix the house so she can't move away. The tools and supplies are loaded into a nifty, happy helper, do-it-yourself trailer. We're ready to fix up the house, says Minnie. Oh, we're ready, all right, says Daisy. She and Kukuloka chuckle to each other and exchange winks. The first step to fixing up the house is to replace the old carpet. Minnie and Daisy start on one side and begin rolling it up. Kukuloka tries to help. We roll up the carpet. Hey, roll up the carpet, not me, she says. Next, Minnie puts down a brand new carpet. It looks wonderful, but Daisy and Kukuloka says they are going to make it look even better. They open some paint and draw a picture of themselves right in the center. Minnie doesn't think that is a good idea, but she pretends to like it. That rug was too plain anyway, she says. Minnie decides to paint the living room. She dips her roller into the perfectly pink paint. But while Minnie is busy painting, Daisy sneaks up behind her and pours black paint into the tray. Minnie dunks the roller in the paint again. This time, instead of pink, she gets a big black stripe on the wall. Yipes! Stripes! she yells. Daisy smiles. It looks like her plan is working. Just then, Kukuloka flies into the kitchen with a bucket of mud. Daisy plans to use it to make a mess. This place will be so icky, Minnie will never want to move out of our apartment, says Daisy. But the bucket slips out of Daisy's hands and into the sink. All the mud gurgles down the drain. When Minnie comes in to clean her paint roller, she turns on the water and grimy geyser gushes out of the sink. Oh, muddy bottoms and bows, cries Minnie. Daisy ducks under the sink with a wrench and stops the mud flow. The kitchen is a mess. Minnie sighs and says, our poor vacation home. Our vacation home? Daisy and Kukuloka say together. Yes, says Minnie. I bought it for us. You said you knew the secret. Daisy explains that they thought the secret was that Minnie was moving out of the apartment and leaving them behind. Oh, girls, Minnie says with a giggle. I would never move away from my very best friends. Not never, ever. Daisy and Kukuloka apologize for the trouble they caused. Now that we know this is our vacation home, let's really fix it up, says Daisy. And this time, says Minnie, no causing messes. Suddenly... There is a crack and a rumble. In just seconds, the whole house collapses. The house is ruined. But on the bright side, the girls can now make it exactly the way they want it to be. First, they need new walls. They need the hammer boards together and lift the wall that frames into place. Whoa, says Kukuloka. Check it out. After the walls are up, it's time for a new roof. It takes a lot of work to put all the shingles on, but hard work builds good things. This place is going to look even better than I expected, says Minnie. Inside, Daisy installs a new sink and faucet in the kitchen. It works perfectly. And no mud, says Kukuloka. Thank you. Goodness, Minnie says with a laugh. The finished house is beautiful. It has large rooms, a spiral staircase, huge windows, and an outdoor deck that looks out over the lake. I could definitely, definitely get used to this, says Kukuloka.
It isn't long before the girls are fully enjoying their lovely vacation home. One afternoon, as the three friends are relaxing on the deck, Minnie's phone rings. Kukuloka sits up straight. Do not answer that, she insists. But why? asks Minnie. Because we're not ready for another house. <laughs> and that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.